Hey everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program RP0. We're going to start out here at the moon today where we've got a few uh, Kerbal Attachment System related things to do. Alright, it looks like everything loaded in properly. We're going to switch... Oh boy. I was switching to the accelerometer that I dropped earlier and it has begun burrowing its way into the moon. <laughs> Fantastic. We just need to radio in some science here. Yeah, 497. Transmit science. Starting upload. This is going to take a million years. So I've done the gracious favor of speeding it all up in post uh, and to let the life support stuff stabilize before we hop an astronaut out. And basically, we've got some uh, fitting to the rover and then some cleaning up around the base to do while we prepare for the next phase of this uh, lunar research mission. Pay dirt. Awesome. Totally glad that worked. You come out of time warp? Yes. Okay. So let's uh, review data and see what we can't. EVA report. Let's add that to the lab. Oh god, that put us up to 729. So, fun times. <laughs> but it bumped her science rate up to almost 20 a day, so we'll uh, stop back in in a few days and uh, check in, see how things are going. The rest of these we could just uh, hit keep, 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 keep. Fantastic. And uh, I was going to have our engineer hop out and move some more stuff onto the rover, so I guess I should just go ahead and get with that. Boris, if you could, sir, EVA. Dunk. Well done, sir. Wow. Okay. I I do not know what is up with your with your waddle there. Quip. Uh, bring this down a little bit because it's these three instruments down here that I would like to collect if at all possible. Oh, that one goes on his back. I guess it's uh, it's too big to mount. Now if you could just uh, ice skate your way across the surface here. You have lights we can turn on? Headlamps? No? All right, I really remember that being a thing. So we will just uh, walk this around to the front of the truck where I will completely forget all of the uh, instructions that I read last week about how to do stuff with Kerbal Attachment System and uh, kind of freak out about it for a second. I was holding a key when I should not have been and that was uh, basically the impetus of uh, all of the issues until finally I Literally just let go. Oh, what, where are you going? Uh, let's see if we can't remount that on the back. That does not look safe. Oh, all right. You are close enough. Oh. <laughs> That is, uh, oh, no. Don't let that roll away. That is expensive equipment. <laughs> uh, I think you need to do drill bits, man. All right, let's try this again. Say put. Oh boy. No. <laughs> Not going to stay put. <laughs> oh, we lost our brake lights too. That's interesting. We'll try to collect those after we grab this.
Good job. All right. Maybe collect the taillights, too. <laughs> oh, this is not this is not working. But I'm glad you can put that in your pocket. What is that on your face, man? Oh, it's your mouth opening. Good gravy. Okay. <laughs> I should have just left it when it was kind of attached. Not really. Let's try this again. Perfect. Right? No. Why won't you stay attached? Weird me out, man. Well, while you're here, go ahead and put a, at least one of these taillights back on. That stayed put. All right, maybe we can just uh, relocate a few other things while we're here. Detach that port. We're not going to need it. We'll detach this. We'll put it someplace else. We'll detach this. We'll put it someplace else. And yeah, no. Escape to cancel. Please stay. Please stay. That's a nice solid attachment point. Oh, come on. Uh, you're killing me, Smalls. You're literally killing me. Right, let's back up a bit. Maybe him being in the way was causing some problems. What the hell? Maybe I just wasn't hitting the button correctly. It means that taillight isn't bolted on either. Oh, I am so dumb. <laughs> that taillight is going to fall right off. Okay, now we get it. <laughs> I wish his headlights would turn on. It would make life so much easier. Wow, I am really stupid. <laughs> All right, so let's go uh, get the other things off the side. We're going to need that mount point for another large object. That's okay. We can... Oh, wrong button. Did it? Nope, there it is. Just stack that in inventory. Stack that in inventory. Uh, uh, uh. Go wiggle your happy self over here. Can I even get to that? Yeah. Okay. I guess so. Show enough. Oh, hey, and there's that other port we dropped all those many moons ago. <laughs> there is no running on the moon. But there is uh, acceleration in post. So we're going to add a, another port to uh, this pillar here. We will be expanding on that later. And I guess while we're at it, we should be uh, picking up our trash. Keep your moon base clean. Etc. So uh, we'll run back over to the crate and uh, deposit some of the things in there, namely these ports. 
Yeah, the inventory switching system is rather intuitive and uh, pretty straightforward. I don't know why the walk animation is being so absolutely stupid, but it seems to be uh, just with this one. Anyway. So we need to uh, collect some of our other experiments here. The Albedo of Neutrons uh, also gets carried on the back. So it looks like we're going to have to do these one at a time. We'll just uh, attach this facing the correct direction on the back of the truck, not the front of the truck, as I misstated earlier. Even calling it a truck is a little bit of a misnomer, I guess. Yeah. And then we'll collect our laser um, thing and uh, mount this here on the side. There we go. That looks pretty clean. We can collect our goose sample container. We've already got a goose sample from out there. Uh, so it'd be best to uh, leave the space for it so we can attach some other things. We'll just uh, fix it here so that our scientists can reset it from inside the module. Uh, no need for her to even get out and clean it. And uh, then we need to collect uh, well, this thing, namely also gets attached on the back. So we'll take a flying leap from the top of the space, sta uh, space station. No, it's a research base. Space station implies being out in space. All right, and we'll just go ahead and attach our other tail light. I don't like it there. Maybe we'll put it someplace else. There isn't really space for it uh, back there yet, so maybe we'll get to it later. And while I'm thinking about it, we can actually start collecting some of the thrusters from the outside of this base and try to reduce our part count a little bit and uh, make this thing maybe load a little quicker. Uh, yep, can't fit the biggins yet. Turns out you have to grab those pretty much one at a time. But uh, some of these smaller thrusters we can collect. Uh, I think we'll just leave the hammer. We haven't uh, really been able to make that thing work. And I don't think it, there's going to be space for it on our rover anyway, so we'll just uh, head back and leave these thrusters uh, here in this container uh, where they aren't going to be rendered. All right, and now it is time to collect one of our concrete blocks and start to uh, build our expansion. That can't fit both of them, no big deal. What the hell just happened? Get back up, dude! Why is your RCS pack not responding? What the hell was that? What did you do? Oh god! <sighs> Do I really want to chase after this thing? Gotcha. Alright. Let's slide back up the hill and figure out what exploded while this goes crazy. Good grief. I don't know what the hell just happened there. Yeah, can't jump with this massive concrete pillar in our backpack. Ugh. It, it is uh, quite a long hike back to the moon. This was um, not very fun to do. Thankfully, you get to watch it at uh, four or at one quarter of the speed that it took me to do, uh, moving at like 0.8 meters per second. RCS actually will slow you down to 0.7, but I guess having this massive concrete thing in our backpack really wasn't uh, helping the cause any. So I hope you enjoy the view because you'll be looking at it for uh, a little while longer. <laughs> Anyway, so uh, we do need to see what exploded, and maybe we'll get some kind of indication on how it exploded. I'm not really clear on that, other than I guess uh, those helmets are made of some pretty serious stuff.
So, I'm gonna collect an unused port from our uh, supply module, and then we're going to come out here near the rover or so and uh, put down this expansion pillar. We should attach it to the moon, probably with uh, Phillips head screws. Then we're going to go link it to our other one. This is basically so that we can kind of expand our parking footprint, so the next module to, to come out to the moon has more options on where to park exactly. And also, we'll be uh, collecting some ports from our power couple module. They won't be used. We'll also be collecting some thrusters from it, again, just to reduce part count, just a, a little bit of uh, cleaning that needs to happen. There we go, and we'll put what we can in the crate, stuff that isn't going to be used. Oh, looks like uh, we're kind of pressed for room. That's very interesting. I guess we'll put what we can back in this crate, and then uh, go about collecting. It looks like we knocked off a landing gear there on the side by the uh, crate we are not close to now. Um, apparently that helmet was just a little too much for that crate to handle or for that landing leg to handle, and exploded. Um, does look like it didn't really mess up the power couple. That would be absolutely tragic, especially since they're in the midst of nighttime here on the moon. Uh, I don't know how if their batteries would hold out long enough for us to get another supply mod or another power couple to them. So, <laughs> were that the case, we'd be in an, an evacuation scenario. So we're just gonna collect a few more of the thrusters here. Yep. Can't remove that. I have to remove it part by part. And uh, inventory is already almost full. So we'll just uh, collect those last little bits of thrusters. See what we can't wedge into this crate here. Uh, I do plan on doing this for uh, most of the station, getting uh, at least the parts that are going to be staying put. Uh, get as many of those things cleaned off as I can. But now that those crates are full, I think that the next supply drop module to come down should have to come with some empty crates, and maybe we can just load in a bunch of accessory equipment into those before they launch themselves uh, into a self-destruct, or collision course. So, the crew members themselves have an inventory, and I'm pretty sure that inventory travels with them when they move. Basically, this would just be like bringing things back to Earth. Alright, Aaron. Well... I will uh, continue the cleaning up of bits and things and uh, trying to reduce our part count a little more off camera because this has stretched on way, way, way too long. So anyway, that's going to do it for this episode, everybody. Thank you so much for hanging out. I really do appreciate it. And I will see all of you in the next one. So until then, see you later.